you know, over the weekend we did we did a couple of the classes, two one day classes, and one of them was about brain fog. But we were doing things about opening up the the diaphragm a little bit more, and we we did things for the inhalation and the exhalation component. But you know, in the Tuesday night things, we've been doing a little bit of this movement stuff with um, opening up the the rib cage a bit. And so I'd like to do a little bit more of that. Even if you were there on Sunday, it's always nice to do it again. And if you weren't there on Sunday, then uh, good exposure. So pull out um, a pine, a terebinth, or chocolate root cleanser, um, unzia, uh, fascial release, uh, a wintergreen, let's see where everybody's at with that, if we need to do others, we'll do others. The diaphragm, yeah. I think we're good. Okay. So this is what you're going to do. Like take, before you even inhale the oils, take a few long, slow, deep breaths. Inhale very slowly. Hold your breath. Exhale very slowly. Long, slow, deep breaths, and then just be still. Now begin inhaling whichever oil you chose. Begin inhaling. Your awareness is on your lungs. You're taking long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on your lungs. You're still taking nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Your awareness is on your lungs.
and then just pause and be still for a moment. Take a few long, slow, deep breaths. Just notice how your chest feels. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a long, slow, deep breath, and then you're gonna hold your breath, and then you're gonna bend sideways, and then exhale and come back. Don't push yourself. And then long, slow, deep breath, hold your breath, bend to the other side. You're not moving your hips, you're just trying to bend the upper torso. And then let it go. Inhale again, bend to the other side. And bend to the other side. Inhale again, hold your breath, and then twist. You're not moving your hips, you're just twisting your upper body. Leave it there for a few seconds, bring it back and exhale. And then to the other side, inhale, twist your body, hold your breath, exhale. Again, inhale, twist your body to the other side, hold your breath, Exhale, twist to the other side, twist, hold your breath, exhale, and then just let it all like normalize. Now feel what you feel in your body, take a few long, slow, deep breaths. Did your breath change? Where do you feel it in your rib cage? Do you feel a heaviness, a denseness, a restriction? Especially the sides. Like if you like lay your arm on the side of your rib cage, that area on the side there, there's some muscles that help elevate the rib cage. Put your awareness on those two sides and take some long, slow, deep breaths. And then just be still. Your awareness is on the back side, your, uh, your chest, that area between your shoulder blades, not so much the chakras, really feel into those muscles between your spine and your shoulder blade. Like those muscles where like if somebody was to rub you, you'd go, oh, that feels amazing. Like that spot on your back. 
on both sides of the spine. Take long, slow, deep breaths. I have a feeling on you. Someone's always cracks me up how much you yawn when we do this. I don't know about you guys, but Samantha's yawning about two times a minute. This lets a lot of tension out of your body. Okay, just be still. Without inhaling the oils, take a long, slow, deep breath and just feel how your body feels, your, your lungs, your respiration. Now, let's do an experiment. Do one side of your chest, like so from the breastbone, all the way across the chest, the chest muscle, all the way over to the armpit area. Let's do the left side. So take a long, slow, deep breath with your awareness just on the left side of your chest. Let's just see what happens here. Long, slow, deep breath. Okay, now just stop, let go of the inhalation. Just let your breath normalize for a moment. Now, take a breath and see if you can feel the difference between your left side and your right side right now, your chest.
And like, so Samantha said, like the left one feels like it's almost deflated because it's so relaxed. The other one feels kind of puffed up. So here's the, here's the thing. Part of, part of what happened after COVID, people would have like tightness in their chest. They would have almost like uh, cardiovascular type symptoms. But when the chest muscles are really super tight, it actually causes what you call like pseudo heart attack kind of feelings. It doesn't mean there's a heart attack. It means it feels like it, but it's not really happening, right? And part of it is the chest gets so tight and so wound up that um, it starts to cause respiratory dysfunctions and then some circulatory uh, issues, right? Even radiating issues down into the hand. So let's do from the breastbone over to the right side and let's just see how that does. Long, slow, deep breath. Now tap your breastbone, tap your breastbone. Just focus on the breastbone itself. Focus all your attention on this like center area where your breastbone is. And then just let go of all the inhalation. Just be still for a moment. Take some long, slow, deep breaths, but without the oils. As you inhale, 
when do you notice? When do you notice? How about your breathing? How's your breathing? And it's like easier to breathe. You feel yourself breathing deeper? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that you take these. Yeah. I asked Samantha how she was breathing and um, she talked about how sleepy she was. <laughs> so it was very relaxing. It's a way of also letting out stress from the respiratory tract, right? Now, we'll do a little bit of where we share, but I just want to cover one more thing. You know, so the last couple of weeks, we've been doing the thing where we turn like this. This, we're going to do like this. Be very gentle about this, right? But you're going to you're gonna just gently turn your head like you're leaning your head to the side. Don't strain. And then inhale three or four times, bring it back up, drop your chin down for a second, and then go to the other side. And you're just starting to, to stretch these like very deep, dense muscles that are tied to elevating the ribs, especially the first couple of ribs. So you're just leaning to the side, inhale three or four times. If it feels uncomfortable, then stop. And then once you're done, come back to the center, just drop your chin down for a second and then go to the other way. How you doing? <laughs> okay, just stop. Inhale a few times. This isn't a complete thing, but it's just we're starting to dabble with opening up the rib cage. So let's share a couple of experiences. We have a few minutes before I get a slide over to a star. So let's go ahead and just share for a moment. And you can unmute yourself too, guys, especially if you want to share or ask questions. Someone said, is my breastbone connected to my crown bone? Is your breastbone? Oh, to the top of the head? Um, the, the heart and crown, but not necessarily the bones. I mean, sometimes there can be fascial lesions here that might throw off posture and things like that, but yeah. Automatically switched from chest breathing to belly breathing. Perfect. Uh, 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 whoever said that, perfect. That's exactly what we are shooting for. Amazing. Go for you. The chest breathing without therapy is hard to just stop. Like it's just... You, your muscles are already functioning in a particular way. You really have to start targeting certain aspects to really unwind it. And the goal is to be able to relax the chest and have the belly breathing happen. But, you know, without going through and doing releases, it's hard to do on your own. It's really hard to do on your own. Good, good for you, love, that was. When we did the side neck thing, I wasn't even straining. And like when I breathed in the first time, I could feel like tension in my neck. And then after the next yeah. two, it wasn't yeah. there anymore. So the thing with the, the side to side is it does help to release some of the muscles that help to uh, elevate the rib cage. 
and these muscles also kind of give you your ability to hold your head upright like if they weren't functioning right your head would flop from side to side right but they also impact the nerves that go down into the arms so you're not just unwinding the neck or the breath you're also unwinding the flow of nerve activity going down both arms and go ahead barbara hey barbara hey greg I have a friend who was recently diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. Would something like this be? I mean, it or... wouldn't wouldn't hurt, but God, I was just reading something about that. Let me look that up. Oh. Um. Hmm. I don't know where it's at. I, I just read something about that. Um, let me get back to you on that. Thank you. I mean, I would just be guessing. Uh, I have some old notes on it, but um, I just read something that was very intriguing and treating fibrosis like that. Uh, I'll have to go through and... and it, it actually might have been um, in the trigger point anatomy stuff. So um, we can cook up a way to treat that. Someone shared, my spleen felt less compressed. Same for my liver, breastbone softer. Oh, good. Like sometimes the things on the sides of the ribs are actually what causes the issue with the spleen and the, and the liver. Uh, sometimes people would complain of liver issues, like liver pains and stuff. And I would treat the area up um, kind of just below the shoulder blade, but on the side of the ribs and hang on. Yeah. And go ahead, Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Greg. Is this some that what we just did, that protocol, is mm -hmm. this something that you would do in a short, separate? Do you know what I'm asking? Mm -mm. Okay, like you would just do, um, sometimes you take one segment and you put it separate and have it on YouTube. Oh, um, yeah, we could do that, right? Or no, or? Yeah, I mean, I was going to clip the whole um, little practice here. Is it a piece in this practice you want specific? I think she's just talking about the whole, like doing the rib gauge and the neck and all that. that that's right. The, the whole yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, we'll call it aroma yoga. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll, yeah. we get it, we'll we'll get do it, it clipped and we'll get it up. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks. We, we are going to be going deeper and deeper on doing this like positional release. Like really what we're talking about is using oils to do positional release. And so... Um, we can start doing like a little playlist, you know, because I like I really want to explore the whole rib cage, neck, jaw, sides of the head for respiratory function right off the bat. You know, with all the COVID stuff, I think some of it is actually soft tissue, not just the respiratory tract itself. I I could feel a big release. That's yeah. why I I ask, yeah. and it um. I, I think I do need to release a lot of tension in that area. And if you think about it, it's tied to a stress response. It's reducing stress in the body. Like Samantha was literally like every, every minute she would take two big yawns and then the next one, two big yawns. And, um, you know, you're allowing your body to reset. You're, you're letting out old stale energy. You're, you're rebooting. You're going into a deeper, level of relaxation um who couldn't use that 
I mean, who seriously, who couldn't use that these days? Yeah. Real nice. Yeah, anybody else? Okay, you guys. Well, we're going to slide over to the prayer petition blessing. If you'd like to join us or offer up a prayer petition or bless the prayer petitions or a little extra karma of some, some sort, um, go ahead and join us. We're posting a link. It, it's only about 15 minutes or so, but 